Next stop, we have McDonald's. Yeah, we're not doing McDonald's. <laughs> definitely not. Well, we definitely are. And you're probably wondering why we would come to McDonald's when we live in Italy and have all these amazing food choices. And that's because we wanted to show you what it's like here as opposed to where you're at. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get two things that are something you would see in the US and two things that you're probably only gonna find here in Italy or in Europe. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Speck and Asiago. That's probably something you'd only have here in Europe. So many options. So many <laughs> options, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna come over here to the Big Mac, the classic, and we're gonna go ahead and get one of those. 100% Italian chicken, it says. We're gonna go ahead and get the classic chicken tendies, the chicken nuggets. <laughs> Well, this is their version of the dollar menu. It's called the Euro Saver, which is <laughs> kind of interesting. Nothing is even a Euro, but it's just, it's a lot cheaper, the stuff on there. So we'll see what they have over there. Oh, here we go. The Italian Panzerati. With tomato and mozzarella. Yeah, I guess Ooh. this is like the Italian version of the chicken nuggets. What about some drinks? Yeah, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and get uh, just a regular Coke. One of the things you can really only get here, I haven't seen this in the US, Beer. They actually have beer on the menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. I mean, Peroni. Big Mac and beer. Mind you that your beer can be sold only to people over 18. Are you old enough? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you can't leave McDonald's without fries. That's why it's under the section called Temptation. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and order the fret. Whoa, what are these? Oh, I didn't see that. Whoops. What are these? La Riche fries. These are like these are like loaded fries. I guess they have cheese and bacon. Oh, oh my yeah, god! Totally. Let's see the McFlurry. No, I wonder if the ice cream machine is broken here too. <laughs> and we're gonna go. Wow, macaroons. Cool. Let's go ahead and get that. I haven't seen that before in the U.S. We'll just get that. So something they do in McDonald's here that I really haven't seen anywhere else is they give you a number and they bring the thing to you, which is very very convenient. But uh, I think they're gonna be surprised when they bring all that for just two people. All right, so one of the key takeaways of the meat here is that all of the meat comes from Italy, or so they say. Um, this is the classic Big Mac, and most of you already know what this tastes like, but let me go ahead and check it out. You know, at the end of the day, this is good, but it still tastes like a Big Mac. It doesn't taste that much more different from the last time I had one, which was probably a long time ago. It's good, but it's just a Big Mac. And of course, everyone's favorite, chicken nuggets. Mmm. They're actually, I mean, they're McDonald's chicken nuggets, but they're actually juicy. I mean, it may look a little strange, but they sell beer here, so we're gonna go ahead, pour some. This feels strange. <laughs> it does, right? Like I'm breaking the rules or something. Let's see. You didn't even know ideas. Damn. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, this is probably a beer you could get in the U.S. if you want it to look hard enough. What's the flavor? What would you compare it to in the States? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really a beer person, so <laughs> honestly, most beers taste the same to me. I wish I could tell the difference, but I just can't. It does taste pretty good, though, and it does pair really well with the food that you order at a place like this. I mean, fried food and beer, they, they tend to go hand in hand. These, I mean, these to me just look like little empanadas. It is very soft, very flaky. Look at that. Cheesy, tomatoey goodness. Mmm. It is like a mini pizza. So this is, I guess, the fancy version of a Big Mac. The, uh, what is it? The My Selection Spec and Asiago. So the bun, I mean, look at that. It's a work of art. See the inside? It is so juicy. Oh, there's a speck right there. And I something for all the mayonnaise lovers, they definitely don't go light here. Look at all that. What is that? Those onions? I think that's uh, eggplants. 
But anyway, let's let's give it a shot. It smells really good. The meat's also bigger. Mmm. Smoking. Okay, so if there's one thing that I'm a little skeptical of, it's this. And the reason is because they don't really do bacon in Italy. Uh, they have things like pancetta, but putting bacon on fries, that's a risk that I was willing to take. Let's see. That cheese, though, is questionable. Mm. The cheese is really good. Really? Okay. They still taste like the, the same sort of McDonald's fries that everybody loves. But the bacon... I will say we do need beer and fries in our McDonald's in America. So McDonald's in USA, we, we got to bring this to America. Okay, so that was pretty much everything. And the total cost of all of that was about $32. So I would say it's about the same as in the US. I mean, for the amount we ordered, yeah. So the service here is, I think, a little bit slower than America, but the fact that they cook everything to order, you definitely taste, taste the freshness. But it takes a couple of minutes, you know, Italian style, a little bit longer, but you definitely get, I think, a better result in the end. So the food quality. Overall, I will say that it is better. Now, some things like the Big Mac, they taste more or less the same. But things like the chicken nuggets and the salads and other things like that, if you come here and you try all the options on the menu, I would say that overall it is a bit better than in America. I'm not sure if there's a certain kind of regulation that goes on with that. I definitely recommend you check it out if you ever get to come to Italy because it's a great point of comparison between the McDonald's that you have back in your home, hometown versus the ones here. I think it's a good way of seeing how foods compare and contrast depending on the culture. I mean, big quality difference. I mean, the specialty items are really cool. So you never know what you can get. I mean, I think it also depends on the location. So I think in Rome, they may have even more different items. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. And we hope you check out other videos that we have and stay tuned for what's more to come. There's going to be a lot more fun in Italy. Hey, I heard that they have a uh, KFC here as well now. <laughs>